What's going on guys? Chump Change XD here. Hope you're all staying healthy, having a great day. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to wire a Space Goats power meter box, or just in general, how to wire up one of these Drock meter displays for your uh, mining rigs. Because a lot of people ask the question on how to wire these things up, and it seems really confusing, but to be honest, it's really not. So let's get into it. First off, we're gonna go over the items that we have here between tools and equipment. So again, this is a, they call it a Drock meter. I will leave a link down in the description below if you guys are interested. This is basically an AC power meter that just reads the display of the input voltage coming in, the voltage going out. Then we have the 20 amp or 30 amp plugs that your PDU will typically plug into. So this, in my case, I need a 20 amp version. So I bought a 20 amp, as you can see right here, by 250 volts. So I'm gonna be feeding this with 240 volts. It's just good for 250. So you guys will see how this is done in just a second. This is just another box this same plug might come in. Uh, that's what this one actually came out of. So instead of opening this, I just used the one that was easier to open. Now this right here, on the actual plug itself, you have a hot on this side, a ground on this side, and then another hot. There is no neutral when it comes to 240 volts. Real quick, disclaimer, this is to be done at your own risk. I don't recommend you guys doing this. I recommend you hire a licensed professional. I am just showing you how I typically do it. Now, this drock meter right here, this, as you can see, has two wires and this circle that one of the leads actually goes through because it reads the current of the wire going through the middle of this. And then the other two leads right here more or less go to the same screws that the hots go to on this plug and it powers this meter. So let's, uh, let's go over the tools you guys are gonna need and we'll go from there. Obviously you're gonna need a screwdriver of some sort to tighten the side of the plug. You're going to need wire strippers. These are very handy. You're going to need an eyeglass flathead screwdriver like just a mini one. Then we have a razor knife just for cutting the wire. And you'll need some uh, wire right here that is rated for 240 volts and 20 amps. So make sure you ask your local hardware store or wherever you purchase it from if it's good for that. I believe what you want is either a 10 or a 12 gauge wire. This is only a 12 gauge, but I'm actually gonna be wiring this, like hard wiring it to my wall but I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes only because 12 gauge, like 12.2, is perfectly fine to run this 20 amp. That's how I had the crypto mining garage set up. So let's take our knife. I'm gonna strip this wire first. All right, so you're gonna wanna pull this cardboard horsehair stuff out of the way. And typically, you wanna cut it off with a pair of pliers. You don't wanna cut it with a knife because it goes everywhere, as you can see. All right, so once you have it all cleaned up, you got all the cardboard cut out between the wires and you have the three wires here. Obviously, we're gonna be feeding it into the box, but I'm not gonna do that. I am just going to show you how to wire this plug and this meter. This meter right here, if you purchase one of these from Space Goats, these tabs on the sides will have to be broken off. I'm going to be doing that at some point when I actually wire the 10-2 into this, but yeah, you gotta snap this off and you may have to put some sandpaper or take a razor knife and trim this opening a little bit because these unfortunately are super tight. And just for a little side note, the dot on the screen, I don't know if you can see it right there, that is to go to the right side always. So it reads correctly and it's not upside down. So I'm gonna push the Space Goats meter out of the way. Gonna take our pliers, obviously strip the wires to whatever size you need. All right, so we have all three ends twisted up, ready to go. Gonna take the plug now. Real quick, I almost forgot. You're gonna want some electrical tape. That is going to be very handy because you wanna wrap all the exposed connections once you're done. So we're gonna loosen these screws right here, all three of them. All right, so now that that's all set up, those are twisted together. We're gonna take the plug and the meter and just kind of put it aside for a second. What I like to do, you guys may have noticed the six pin by SATA. Everybody has these from the risers you guys purchase. They usually come with them. So I'm going to cut the end off one side and I'm gonna cut the SATA off the other. Then I'm just gonna take the two yellows. Going to strip both ends. Okay, now that you have four exposed ends, two of these ends are gonna go into the other side of this meter display. 
So this is where we take the small screwdriver. We are going to loosen the terminals on the other side of this drock meter. We're gonna take these yellow wires and we're going to feed one into each side. So we'll push that one in, tighten it up, push this one in, and same thing, tighten it up. So now we have the lead with the circle on one side and the two leads that we just put on to power the actual unit on the other side. Now back to the wire you stripped over here. We're going to take the ground and I'm gonna tie the ground in first. Obviously that's usually the easiest to do just to get it out of the way. And to be honest, working with this frayed wire, this is um, a thousand times easier, let's put it that way, than working with stiff wire, which is why I'm recording showing you guys how to do it with this. So now that we have the ground connected, I am actually going to strip these just a tad bit longer. Now I'm gonna twist these up. We're going to take this circle, you're gonna throw it around one of the leads, like that, the circle on the side of the drop meter. Then we're going to tie in one side with this line right here. So I kind of twisted the yellow and that leg together. We're gonna put that to one side of the actual device. Tighten that down. Again, the other yellow wire goes into the other hot leg or twist to it rather, and then you put it into the other side of the actual plug. And that's pretty much it. That is how a Space Coats power meter is wired. Two going to the side of the unit to each side of the hots. And the circle just goes over one of the hot feeds. That's it, nothing else to it. Hardest part is getting everything into this box and making it all fit perfectly and work. So now let me wire this up to the actual 10-2 that I have in the uh, crypto mining grow tent or near the crypto mining grow tent. And I'll show you guys this thing all fired up and working. One last thing before we do that, always take electrical tape and wrap around the outlet. I always just kind of wrap it right around to cover all the terminals so nothing's exposed and you want to make sparks inside the actual box. So here we are back in the grow tent room and as you can see I got that brand new Space Coats power meter all set up. Again the little dot is over here on the right side so the screen's facing the right way. And real quick pointer, these little flathead screws, I actually had to steal them out of a uh, normal faceplate cover for like a normal switch or an outlet, more or less, if we look right here. Same screws that come off these light switch covers. So I stole those out of a brand new one I had kicking around. So these are the ones you're gonna have to use because the long screws these come with are actually meant to go into the blue boxes like so and then the little white screw would hold the plate on in the middle of that outlet. So either way, just fair warning, you're going to need that. And then let's show you guys quick inside the grow tent here. That's the 20 amp PDU that I just threw in there. Let me zip this back up. This is the plug end that come with the actual PDUs. Then that will just plug in twist and lock as you can see it shows the voltage it says 232 volts there's nothing plugged into it but we can come back over here and look again and you can see that it's powered up and it just says zero so we are up and running this grow tent is working fantastic so hopefully you guys learned something today hopefully uh that helped solve or answer a lot of your questions on how to wire an outlet or a Space Goats meter box. If it did, please don't forget, hit that like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys real soon. Peace.